Hi again, you're watching Sky News. Almost 9 out of 10 charities fear donations from wealthy benefactors will fall if government plans to cap tax relief go ahead. From next April, the maximum amount anyone can give to charity tax-free will be £50,000 per year or 25% of their income. A survey by Charities Aid Foundation found more than half of chief executives believe the move will lead to major donations falling by a fifth. Just under 8 out of 10 are now calling for the measure to be scrapped. It is extraordinary about this government because they have reached a new level of incompetence. I'm sure some of you have seen this. They're actually raising taxes on those richer people who want to give money to charity. Only this government could be so out of touch, so failing to meet we're all in it together, that they cut taxes for all the most affluent people in our society, the top 1%, except for those who do the right thing, except for those who want to give money to charity. Pathetically, at these concerns, but the idea of a limit on tax allowances and stopping some of the abuse that is taking place, and there's no doubt abuse is taking place, we're very clearly informed of that by the Inland Revenue, who are responsible for these matters. Some people have been using charities established in other countries to funnel money into those and get their tax rates. So they're not paying 50p tax or even 45p tax, but in some cases are paying 10 or 20% tax. And I think that isn't right. Harrison from the Charities Aid Foundation joining us live from central London now. Uh, Mr Harrison, thanks for joining us here on Sky News this afternoon. What impact might this have on, on charities, would you say? This is going to have a very, very serious impact on charities. It will certainly reduce the income of the charitable sector by tens and probably hundreds of millions of pounds. And that means obviously thousands, tens of thousands of sick elderly here and abroad not getting the care they need. Beyond that, I th we worry that this sends the wrong message to major donors and all donors across the public about the government's vision for a big society. And that's why we urge the government to reverse this decision immediately. Explain in more detail what you mean by that. Yes, yeah, so the tax system in this country has been working very well for many years. It actually encourages donors to give to charity. It, it does that well. It is also uh, monitored uh, very well by the Charity Commission and the Treasury, both. Um, we think that if, this, uh, if these changes happen, um, there will be this huge reduction of the amount of money that goes to charity. Uh, charities across the country, not just big charities, small charities, local communities, who are often funded by these major donors, will see an immediate drop. In fact, we've seen, only heard only this week, that uh, initiatives such as a £100 million cancer hospital in London under threat, any number of, of initiatives, projects that are currently underway may, may flounder. So it's very, very worrying for charities, and it comes at precisely the wrong time. Charities need all the help we can get, they can get, particularly in recession. But so does the Prime Minister not make a good point when he says that some people are using um, charitable giving to avoid paying tax? Uh, not really, because there's no evidence for that for specific kinds of example that he cited really being the case. As I said a minute ago, uh, we have an excellent process you know, led by the Charity Commission, HMRC, to make sure that those certain kinds of donations that he was alluding to uh, are, are, are well monitored. Um, I think the, the, the key is that um, you know, the government looks at the larger issue of what message this sends uh, and listens, listens to uh, the charities, listens to the thousands of donors as well, and, and realises that rather than taking a sledgehammer to a nut, we can together find a, a really sensible, uh, intuitive solution uh, you know, to the specific uh, issue that the government is perceiving. But it does mean that uh, some people, uh, while they're not personally profiting from uh, this arrangement, uh, they can choose where their money is spent. Rather than it being spent uh, on a tax dollar, they can, they can choose for it to be given to a charity instead. Yes, that's true. But that's, that's absolutely uh, normal around the world. Uh, governments think hard about how they uh, build uh, tax regimes. And, and, and we have a, a, a great system here. We have gift aid and other ways of, of giving sensibly. It doesn't mean that um, we have to come down so hard in, in such a sort of uh, two-dimensional way on charities and our ability to give to charity. We're one of the most generous countries in the world. Uh, in data shows that our data shows that we're the fifth most generous country in the world, and that's something we can all be very, very proud of. Why then uh, go ahead 
and uh, slap charities in the face by bringing in uh, a, you know, a cap on giving of this nature. Um, or, and let's find a way to solve the particular problem that government perceives around overseas donations. Okay. Uh, Richard Harrison from Charities Aid Foundation, thank you very much indeed for joining us here on Sky News this afternoon. Let's uh, put some of those points to the Treasury. Minister David Gork, who's been listening in our Westminster studio for us. Mr Gork, thanks for joining us. This is a slap in the face to charity. No, I don't accept that. What the purpose of the policy is, is to ensure that everybody makes a contribution towards the Exchequer. And what we do see is that uh, there are some wealthy individuals who make use of various tax reliefs, including those on charitable donations, that end up with a tax rate that is very, very low, indeed in some cases paying no income tax at all. And when most people are having to pay income tax at 20% or 40%, uh, it's not fair on those taxpayers that essentially uh, some people are able to opt out of the income tax system altogether. And what we're trying to do is find the right balance. So yes, we use the tax system to encourage philanthropy. There's still tax relief there, um, but not to such an extent that no tax ends up being paid, or very little tax ends up being paid. And that's why we've, we're going to introduce uh, the cap as we outlined at the budget. Mm. You heard uh, what the charities representative said there. He said that uh, basically this is a, an anomaly and you're just looking at it in a two-dimensional way. No, I, I, I don't think that is right. And you, know, you look at other countries, actually the US have a, have a cap as well on uh, tax relief uh, on charitable giving. Uh, we think it's a reasonable way of striking that balance so that people can, yes, the tax system rewards them for giving to charities, but not to the extent that we have at the moment whereby people end up with a very low or no rate of income tax. Uh, this government is pleased to take low earners out of the income tax system, but we're not looking to do that with high earners. And just to clarify what the Prime Minister has said, is this... Um in some way a U-turn, I'm not sure whether we can use a U-turn, but uh, let, let's use that phrase, I'm sure you'll correct me. Go, we are going to talk to them, the charities, about how we will make sure the change we want to put into place, this restriction on allowances, doesn't unfairly improve or impinge rather on giving. Is that a U-turn? No, it's not. Indeed, that's almost exactly what we said in the budget document uh, in March, at the bottom of page 33 to be precise. Exactly that point, that we are very keen to engage with charities uh, to uh, have an understanding as to where uh, some charities maybe are very dependent upon large donations and to see if there are ways in which we can bring in this cap but without doing it in a way that has a significant impact on those charities. So yes, there's a process of engaging with charities. I've already had meetings with uh, charitable organisations uh, and indeed there will be further meetings over the next few weeks. So we're keen to engage, we're keen to listen to the concerns that charities have um, but we are entirely consistent in this. We've always said from the very day in which we made the announcement that we want to work sympathetically uh, with charities uh, and uh, donors, uh, but we do believe that broad principle that uh, people should not be left, high, very wealthy people should not be left with a very low rate of income tax is a perfectly reasonable one. Okay, Mr. Gork, we must leave it there. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you. News at Skyrocom 84501. You can tweet us using the hashtag Sky today. Let us know what you think about that or indeed any of the stories we're covering here on Sky News today. Tig is standing by at the